Hi, we are back. We are gonna go home now. Let's get started. Here we go. Okay, but clock. Back up. I'm backing, backing up now. Okay, it's really hot, so I had to carry, pick up one of the dogs, which is a smaller one. Ah! Oh, well, okay. I didn't, uh, no, the shift is not uh, drive, it's neutral. That's why my car didn't start. Okay, I have to be careful. When I try to get out of the parking lot, all right, there's this car coming from the right side, and I had to wait for the car to pass by, and now I'm on the road successfully, and so I was talking about the Japanese girl uh, who can speak three languages. And uh, she inspired me so much. And now I'm ready to learn a lot from her. And I really want to know about her. Like, how did she end up going to Mexico? And why is she, is her English so good? And, uh, or something like that. Okay. Well, I'm very hot now. I'm swearing, sweating, sweating. I'm sweating. I'm covered with sweat. But this morning, when I went to go, uh, went for a walk with my dogs, it was refreshing because kind of windy. It was kind of windy. Windy, not windy. Wendy is my name, my English name, right? Actually, my name, my real name is Atsuko. A T S U K O. Alright. And uh, the, the Chinese characters that are used for my name are one is Thick. Okay, Thick Child. My name literally means thick child. And uh, what is thick? What is thick? Um, and uh, my parents told me that they named me after one of the characters of the TV drama back then. It's about a boy who um, has the same nickname as mine, like Achan, okay, and although he was a boy, he was called that way, and I was called that way too, and, uh, okay, my parents named me after that boy, I don't know why, because was it popular, was the TV drama popular, I ne I've never seen it myself, because it was aired long, long time ago, like half a century ago. Wow, this shows how long I have been living on this planet, right? Yeah, but I really want to live for more years because I have lots of things to do. I have lots of dreams to make come true. For one thing, let's see, for one thing, it's a great opportunity for me to think about my dreams, right? Yeah. One thing, yeah, I want to be a trilingual at least, okay, like that, well, that girl. Uh, I want to speak, I want to be able to speak Spanish fluently. It would be fantastic if I could speak Spanish like my English, okay. It's fun. It's really fun. Um, I still have lots of uh, room to grow, but still I'm improving. And uh, compared to my English, my Spanish is still 
like a baby, but still, I love this language very much. I love the sound of it. And I always think that it would be great if I could、uh, express myself in Spanish. So, this is my、uh, closest dream, okay?、Uh, and、uh, unless I give up, I can make it happen for sure because I made、uh, my English happen, right? Now I can speak English, I can say that. So I'm pretty positive about my second foreign language also. And next, what do I have? What kind of dream do I have? I've never thought about that. Okay, I wanna stay healthy. Okay, I wanna stay healthy for as long as I live. Are you okay? Two boys, two you guys. I have my dogs in the car, and I think it's a bit hot to, for them. Is it okay?、Um, the second dream. Yeah, I want to write a book. Maybe I want to publish the book in English in the future because I'm a person who loves to write. Especially in English. And yeah, English is my, not my mother tongue, it's my second language. But some people pu actually publish the book in their foreign language. And I think that's cool. So I really want to write a book in English, at least one book. What kind of book? I don't know, maybe picture book, children's book, or instruction book for language learners. Or anyway, I want to improve my written language too, not only spoken one. Okay, and next dream. Let's see, I want to make friends with. Lots of, not a lot, but some people who are more than bilingual, and so that I can communicate with them in my foreign languages. It could be a lot of fun. And actually, I don't have any friends now because I always stay indoors and I'm very vulnerable and I'm、um, sensitive. So, I don't have any friends, but I know、uh, it is fun to be with your friends because I've been there, I've done that a lot. But for as long as, let's say, 10 years or so, I don't have any friends. Okay,、uh, I had some. Uh, some opportunities to talk with people, like over a cup of coffee in a cafe, Starbucks, or something like that. Yeah, several times. And、uh, even I had that kind of opportunity with my former English teacher, who is from Morocco. Okay.、Um, He used to be my teacher, one of my teachers at、um, an English school I went to, and that was my last English school. I've never been to any English school after that because I don't think going to an English school is very effective. When it comes to i m p r o v e your spoken language, you can just、uh, speak to yourself. Every day, it helps so much, and but it's better probably to have someone to talk with, it's more fun, and、uh, you can learn a lot from the other person. and You can also、uh, give some information that the other person doesn't know in English, for example, in English or in your target language. So, 
communication is very important when it comes to improve your spoken language because there are actually some things that you cannot gain you cannot gain uh, without talking to people right so but in my case I'm quite vulnerable and sensitive and I'm very easy to get hurt so I take things too seriously and personally uh, at the moment I don't need anyone to speak with or talk with okay anyway but um, people with attachment issues like me included okay um, they really want to get a lot of affection friendships relationships connections at the bottom of their heart they really want uh, close relationships with people that is why that is why they easily feel lonely Re they really want to make friends with people but they are just afraid of getting hurt because they know that they are very vulnerable they are easily get hurt uh, they will easily get hurt and so I understand them because I'm in the same boat I feel the same way I have attachment issues abandonment issues so it's very difficult to to keep in touch with someone I easily feel um, that I might have uh, offended someone by saying something or doing something or, or my actions might get hurt someone I'm very sensitive about uh, this so normally I tend to think that uh, this person in front of me is, is a friend now but he or she will end up leaving from leaving me eventually because I'm not good enough yeah I'm not good enough I always feel that way I tend to feel that way so in order to avoid feeling this way I want to stay away from people and if uh, friendships or relationships um, will get uh, deeper and when I feel that I try to stop it myself I don't know why that I don't know why but I know why because I don't want the relationship to get deeper uh, because the person the other person will end up leaving me uh, people with attachment issues and uh, especially uh, abandonment issue issues would feel this way this is how such people think so if you have someone your friends or even your family members who act a bit weird like when you try to get close to the person but the person doesn't want to uh, get close to you even though you are friends with each other then the person might be might be having kind of attachment issues abandonment issues or yeah something related to is it okay for me there is a patrol car okay next to me 
well, and uh, there was this pedestrian road uh, crossing in front of me, with, and the crossing doesn't have a signal. And the patrol car was parked in the place. In the place, and it just、uh, gave me the impression that、uh, the policemen were sneaky. Yeah, it made it look like they were sneaky. So they were, I think, they were hiding in that place and they were just checking the cars, which Are about to,、uh, about to, I don't know,、uh, violate the traffic rules. Yeah, it's it kind of dangerous. It's kind of dangerous. It's really hot.